I thought it was important to, to make a design that also looks good during daytime um, because, of course, um, it's, uh, it's important to, to, uh, to provide a certain uh, visual effect with the light. Uh, light is, is an important component of, of what we're doing. But uh, we must not forget the fact that, that once a feature is installed, it's also there as an object during daytime. I thought it was important to, to, to make something that is able to make humans feel more comfortable. And um, looking for inspiration in nature, uh, I thought that the, the theme of, of, of tree branches carrying various objects that are functional uh, would be a good idea. And uh, at a certain moment, the idea came to me to, to use uh, the concept of a parrot, a parrot, uh, which is a very flexible bird, flexible in the way of uh, that he's a good climber, he's very uh, independent, uh, he's colorful, he has a lot of, lots of good abilities. Well, it was very important uh, to, to, to use natural elements. For me, it was a natural process to, to, uh, to, to look at, at nature and uh, it all started with the idea of a tree, of course. A tree is an obvious choice if you want to make a lighting structure. Uh, and um, a tree has, has branches and has leaves, but does not have uh, really voluminous uh, elements. So that's how I came to the idea of introducing birds. Uh, trees are visited by birds or are the, ho the house or the home of birds. And it was a perfect match, the idea of, of introducing parrots, because that's what they are, they are parrots. To introduce those elements into the tree already had uh, was a solution to all the problems. Uh, it is uh, a nice elegant volume, which is big enough to not only incorporate the lighting uh, functionality, but also uh, cameras and, uh, and speakers. And one feature in particular which I am really proud of is this, that's the light emitting tail. That's something that com comes from, from my imagination, it's probably not true, uh, because I'm not a biologist, I'm just a designer. Uh, but I, I imagined that parrots use their tails to attract attention to, to, their, to themselves. And, and also, that's also quite important, it allows you to, to accentuate uh, the fixture during daytime. Uh, it's important that when it's, when it's still light outside, that the feature looks interesting in some respects. And this light emitting tail definitely contributes to that. Well, I was looking for a design that, uh, that was able to make uh, humans feel more, feel more comfortable. Um, in an uh, in urban context, uh, it's important to, to look at the needs of the individual, not only at the needs of the community. And uh, the community may need uh, or may require a certain level of illumination, but uh, I was looking to what, uh, what I would want to have as, as an individual. And um, in, a, in a city, big or small, but I would prefer to look at things that make me feel comfortable. And uh, elements uh, from nature have the power to do that. Well, multiple challenges, there always are when you start a new design, of course. But, but here, in this particular case, the challenge was to, to put everything inside a volume with, with limited dimensions. And um, although it, it looks voluminous when it's on a table, uh, it's perfect in proportion when it's uh, up there in a, in a, I was going to say a tree, but of course it's, it's a, a structure. Yeah? Um, but, um, you know, there's a lot of intelligence in here. Yeah? A lot of different components that had to fit inside. And it was a big challenge to find the right shape, which is still elegant and which has this, this elegant pointiness. And um, to me, this is a perfectly balanced shape. It took several attempts to arrive at this. Uh, I'm really pleased with, with this result. Well, the good thing about finding a good concept is that you don't have to bring harmony. Harmony is already there. Huh? If you find the concept, with, with, like I did with uh, the trees and, and, and then the birds, it is a concept with a high level of imagination. And, and uh, once you have that, all the pieces fall together and, and you don't have to bring harmony. It's, it's all natural. It's already 
incorporate it into the design. So that's the nice thing about it. Of course, lights, as we all know, is, is, is a functional component. It, it's, we have to use it for illumination. But uh, with today's possibilities, especially with LEDs, you can, you can go far beyond that. Uh, it, it's also an important emotional component. And, uh, and today, with, with the, the way we can control uh, LEDs and, and the color and, and the intensity and the shape of, of light beams, and the atmosphere, uh, it all contributes to, to a big um, emotional component, um, which I think is, is very well uh, uh, integrated into Arini. Uh, Arini is, is not only about um, the illumination of, of streets and squares and, and, and so on. It's also a bringer of emotions. It's important to have this multifunctionality, especially when you consider Arini being part of, of, of a global idea of, of, uh, of, of um, uh, urbanization, let's say. Eh? Uh, but um, with wireless internet, uh, you cannot do without these days. Eh? It, it's really good if you can integrate such a feature into such a thing as a lighting fixture. Uh, in normal circumstances, you would have to build up a separate structure for that. Uh, same thing for cameras and speakers. Uh, it can all be integrated now in the same units, uh, in the same structure. And uh, for me, um, speaking as a designer, I think it's, it's really uh, a good thing uh, that, that urbanists can now uh, unite all these functions uh, into one multifunctional unit. Because you have many, many different situations, not two different, not two situations uh, where light is needed are the same. And the more flexible uh, your your system is, the more different situations you can address. And to be able to to have uh, structures in different shapes, uh, be able to choose the number of units, the the ability to to choose the, the type of beam, uh, or to use gobos, or or to to introduce. Uh, sounds, music and so on, uh, cameras, it, um, it all uh, frames in, in the bigger picture of being multifunctional and um, the more functions you can offer, the more situations you can address. It's as simple as that. Well, originally uh, I, I had uh, an urban context in mind, of course, uh, because that was the assignment. and. Um, Arini is, is clearly very uh, uh, well applicable in um, any environment with a representative character, like, like important streets, commercial streets, uh, or squares, or roundabouts. But um, as I was developing this, this, uh, this design, it, it also came quite clear that Arini also has a big potential in, in a more commercial environment. I can really imagine uh, certain companies using uh, this design uh, in order to tell something about themselves. Uh, when, when a company was to put this into its front yard, uh, it would give a certain impression. And I think um, a design with this level of, expressive, of expressivity is, is able to offer that.